Oh, we know it's happening. Criminals are breaking into places all over the country. They steal our stuff and then leave us to clean up the mess. We checked the latest numbers and there have been 2 million home break-ins in just the last year. It kind of got us wondering, how can we protect ourselves and do it for not a lot of money? Whatever pre preventative measures you can take that are simple and, and inexpensive to protect your family, I think they're worth doing. We learned of a way to nearly triple the strength of your front door. It sounded too good to be true, so we thought we'd test it out. Most door handles and deadbolts come with three quarter inch screws, so we installed them on this door. All right, so we got our small screws. Then I got my kickboxing workout in for the day. The space was a little confined, but it only took a few good kicks. So that really wasn't that hard. Eight kicks in all. These screws ripped right out of the wood and flew all over the place. The strike plate, look at this. It was flung several feet away from the door. It, it wasn't uh, very tough to get it open at all. With the smaller screws, you're screwing into just the door jam itself, which is really just a three quarter inch piece of pine typically. Um, so pretty weak, can break fairly easily. So if the door with three quarter inch screws was relatively easy to kick down, what would happen if we put these longer screws in? Okay, so here's what we have now. This one's different because we've taken two three inch screws just like these and drilled them into the plate. So we'll see how things fare differently. I kicked and kicked and kicked. My producer even started laughing at me because I was getting worn out. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I, it's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> I got back into it, and in all, it took 22 kicks to get this door open. So that was a lot harder. And if you look here, the plate actually stayed. Those screws held that plate in. It's not even the screws that came out. It's the whole deadbolt that ripped out of the door here. When you put the longer screws in, you're actually going into the framing of the house. It can withstand a lot of stress. Um, so I think that's the reason that the longer screws would, would be really helpful in, in securing your house. Our test even impressed Chris Kelly. He used to install doors in new and remodeled homes. Uh, yes, I will be going out to, to purchase some right away, in fact. Probably the cheapest way to secure your house that I could think of. Guys, that was a workout, let me tell wow. you. I mean, And you know, you were doing it in a dress shirt, which totally impressed me, you by gotta the way. you got to be a little bit stylish, Come on. right? you got to try. So I have a question, all you got. <laughs> Did you get out of there before the homeowner came home? Well, you know, actually, that was an abandoned house, oh, as you could tell. Oh, okay, It's a little dirty, maybe need to be cleaned. <laughs> but you got, you. that's all it took, yeah, right it was, So see the screws right here. I mean, they're just three inches long. When we purchased these here in Denver, just 99 cents. Uh, so with tax, a little more than a dollar. And you can install these with a, uh, a drill. You can just use a screwdriver. It's very, very easy. And you saw the difference that that no makes. Kidding. I mean, for 99 great. cents, this is a no-brainer. My opener. Thanks yeah. for joining yeah, us. Absolutely. Nice work out there, Jason. Thank you.